In this video, I'm going to show you how I painted this guitar with spray cans. And I'm going to skip over how I did the pickguard, the wiring, the shielding, the string through holes, and just concentrate on the finish. So let's rewind to when I just had finished the sanding and I was ready to paint. So now I'm ready to paint, but the workshop is a mess. <laughs> And this is how you build your own paint booth. All right, so I have clear glass, I have a lot of red, I have some amber, and I have black. What I can do is test if these paints work at all. So the red is now in hot water and I'm letting it sit for a few minutes and then we'll test if it works still. It works. No problem. I think I have to get a haircut. Now I'm ready to make a cool guitar. I like this uh, texture that you can feel the wood grain through the paint. I'm not going for this glass-like surface. I'm going to attempt a sunburst and that sunburst will be painted over with white. And then I'm going to relegate a little so the sunburst is coming through. I have no idea if this will work. Let's go. So this is what happens when you put too much on there. Small bubbles. It's no big deal right now because I will sand it down and paint this over. But just so you know, for all other amateurs out there, that's what happens when there's too much on there. So I'm making all the mistakes so you don't have to. But I have to say, other than that, it actually looks pretty nice. Amazingly beautiful wood, I think. I like it anyway. This is my two-tone sunburst right here. As you can see, pretty nice. But once again, this square right here in the middle, obviously not a problem because I'm going to uh, paint white over this, but I will sand it out anyway. And the same is in the front, you see the square. But that happened also with my first guitar build and that turned out not to be that big a problem. So I can sand that out and it will look very nice. I'll go over, over it with a thousand grit sandpaper and let it dry. Or maybe let it dry and then go over it with sandpaper. And the square is gone. So 
this is definitely not a good sunburst uh, if it was intended to be just a sunburst this is really bad see the red how it disappears <laughs> that's not good it's ultimately going to be a white guitar hopefully i can relegate dennis fano style i don't know about that but uh, take a look at these small imperfections in the wood i'm going to use that to uh, create this feeling of a, an old guitar it's kind of fake because it's trying to look like something that has been played for a long time but on the other hand it's not that fake because this wood is extremely old so it doesn't really get more authentic than this so you decide let me know what you think in the comments if you like relic or not so a few days have passed and Finally, the Olympic white has arrived and I'm so excited to see how it will cover the sunburst I made the other day. But before I get to that, I will do as I usually do, put it in hot water and I'm ready to paint in a few minutes. So it's a new day and it's crazy hot today and this is where the guitar is at. You can still see uh, the texture of the wood and that's intentional. I've been over the paint with uh, 1200 grit sandpaper. Now I think I'm ready for the clear glass. That's where I'm going. Yeah, looks good. The paint is done. It has been drying for a few days. It needs buffing and uh, I'm going to do some relicking on it. So I bought some polish and I want to give the surface of the guitar a little polish to make it a little more glossy. I think that's it. I think the body is where it's supposed to be before relicking. So it's time to relic the guitar. I'm fully aware that I probably will destroy the looks of this guitar, but I just have to try. Keep in mind, I'm an absolute amateur. I've been looking up information on YouTube. I read articles and stuff like that. I'm going to examine pictures of Novo guitars and try to imitate what 
Danish Fano has done with those guitars. I'm starting out with what I would say is a low hanging fruit and that would be you know holes or, or marks that this guitar already has because it's old wood and because I didn't use a grain filler. So take the paint out of these marks on the body first of all. So that's what I'm going to try first. <laughs> So this feels like a Selma and Louise moment. Just going off the cliff, have no idea where I'm going to end up. So, I actually like the most important part, and this is this part right here. But this over here just isn't good. So, um, that's a fail.
And that's when I ran out of time because of the deadline for the great guitar build of 2021. I would have liked to work a little more on the relicking and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to crack the nitro with some compressed air and a hairdryer and then I'm going to work on the overall relic job. I think I can make this guitar even cooler. So let's do that. <laughs> 